All right, guys, welcome into another episode of Freshman Friday. I am your host, Mr. Blake Sorrell, and today I am here with Tucker Gilbert. Tucker, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, man. I appreciate you coming on, taking a few minutes out of your day to come and talk some sports with me. So let's go ahead and get started, man. First question, where are you from and where did you go to high school? I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Uh, I played basketball at uh, Lakeside High School. Nice, man. So I also see that you played some soccer also. So I wanted to ask you, you know, basketball, soccer, did you have an option to play both, you know, some at some university? Did you have any offers for soccer? I had had some looks for soccer, but I just wasn't – uh the fastest player so and I'd always like like basketball better so it was just it was kind of a no-brainer to come here and I think I wanted to I honestly wanted to go to Georgia College anyways so it would just kind of worked out that way nice man that's about that's a very honest answer right there not uh not beating around the bush for sure my question for you now let's just go ahead and jump into it you're talking about your basketball career a little bit there just now talking about how you had an option to play soccer potentially weren't fast enough did your soccer did playing soccer growing up help you with playing basketball? Did they kind of coincide? I know they don't, you know, involve the same ball, obviously, but you are running and you are, you know, strengthening yourself and your endurance and agility by doing that. So I'm wondering if you're so- if playing soccer growing up helped you with uh, playing basketball at the collegiate level. I would say so, yes, uh, especially conditioning-wise. Um, like preseason-wise, we're doing uh, a lot of running, a lot of two miles, uh, like every other day. And, I mean, it's, it definitely shows. Um, I have a little more experience with the running compared to some of the other guys. Um, I definitely uh, am able to run a whole lot longer than most people can. And I, th- I would say footwork as well. I've noticed that like, f- like different moves and different uh, like drills, I, I, my footwork is a little bit better than what like some, like some other people that haven't necessarily done those drills before, even right. though it's good for me as well. So it definitely shows there. Awesome, man. So like I said earlier, you know, we touched on your basketball career talked about soccer. Let's go ahead and move on to what your goals are as a student at Georgia College and then also as a student athlete. I got you. Well, my goals would have been to uh, have a 4.0 GPA, but it, uh, it seems that after my last year, it, uh, it won't work out quite so well. But uh, I still have a 3.9, so looking good for there. And I guess my goal for that is just to keep that going. And I uh, hope to graduate with a business, man- business management uh, degree um, in four years. So uh, I mean, so far I'm on track for that. And um, for basketball wise, I would just say like, I want to be able to start uh, sometime soon. I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard. We have a lot of guys returning, but I think it's something that I could probably pull off possibly. So. So as a freshman, you could see yourself potentially, you know, entering into the lineup at some point one way or another this year. I think I could do it. It's uh, it's gonna be hard, but um, I think I can do it. Even though we're, we only have 11 games, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how things shake out, at least this year. Um, right. And that was actually my next question for you is, with 11 games, how are you going to be able to showcase your talents, you know, with a limited number of opportunities at this point? Um, that's, going to be, that's going to be the most interesting part. Uh, we don't really even know how our practicing is going to go. So, and um, it all kind of goes to how the coaches want to, like, use this year. I, I feel like they're either going to – and it also depends on our, like, postseason. We don't really know if we have a postseason yet. So, if we um, – I feel like they'll allow us to – since we only have 11 games this year and everybody gets a year of eligibility, I think they'll allow uh, most – instead of, like, just taking um, the players that they know or they have confidence in already and just playing them mostly, I think that they'll um, probably give us a chance as well, some of us freshmen. So. Yeah, man, absolutely. Give you an opportunity to go ahead and earn your stripes early on rather than later so that you can see how you fit in with the team and then jumping from high school to college, obviously. So my question for you now is, you know, have you been around the guys at all? Have you been practicing? You know, what have you been doing to stay in shape during the COVID time, during quarantine? And uh, are you ready to go ahead and just get after it, man? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready. For, I'm ready to get this thing started. I mean, we've, we've, uh, we haven't really been able to do too much. Um, like COVID is obviously restricted the use of Centennial Center. Uh, the most that we've been able to do is lift weights at um, wellness. And I mean, we've been running on the track for our preseason and we've just started individuals and I think we're starting practice in within two weeks. So we're a little excited for that. Okay. So two weeks away, the countdown's begun. You got 14 days to go and you're, uh, you're ready to get after it is what it sounds like to me. So my next question for you, I haven't actually seen any of your tape. I will be honest, but what I will say is at six, six, you're six, six, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, so at 6'6", you know, you got a decent size on, you got a good frame. 
you know, how do you see yourself matching up against some bigger competition potentially? Because I'm sure in high school you were not going up against guys that were 6'9", 6'10", which you could very well see at the collegiate level. Yes, that's for sure. Um, I mean, it's going to be a challenge, especially with bigger kids. But uh, I believe, like, if I just got to be able to, like, analyze, like, how I'll be able to play. I mean, I guess I'll be able to gauge a lot off of practices, um, especially, like, and then in games, too, since I haven't – I mean, obviously I haven't played yet. So uh, it'll be interesting to see, like, I'll have to uh, make sure that, like, I play to, like, my strengths. Um, and I'll have to gauge, like, like how fast, the, like, my like, opponent is um how like how if they're stronger than me I mean it'll be it'll be different for sure and it's a lot physical that's that's for sure that's one thing I've noticed from high school and college is the physicality right man I hear that let the boys play right I mean mm -hmm. you know sometimes it's okay to get a little gritty basketball and speaking of gritty basketball that brings me to your favorite athlete Mr. Brian Scalabrini the white mamba is what he's referred to <laughs> as my question for you why Scalabrini and do you model your play after a specific player in the NBA for say um, I wouldn't say no, not really. I wouldn't say I would model a, a specific player, but uh, I mean, Scott Green is a tough player, but um, I think it was kind of funny because my brother uh, was the one that got, got me to put that on the thing. He um, it was just kind of a joke, but um, uh, no, Scott, Scott Green was a tough player, and I would, I would like to say I'm a tough player myself. I don't, I mean, I'm not the most athletic kid out there, uh, I'm a little slower than some guys, not I can't jump as high, but I would say that uh, I keep going for sure. Nice, man. That's a great way to look at it. You know your strengths and you know how to, how to use them to your uh, best of your abilities, which is very important, especially here, you know, going from that high school playing at Lakeside and then jumping here over to GC, of course. So that brings me to my, one of my last and final questions. Your motto, board man gets paid. Kawhi Leonard, he loves saying it. So I got to ask, are you pretty nasty on the glass? Is that what's going on with that quote? Yes, I would, I would, I'd probably say I'm pretty good uh, getting rebounds. That was my thing in high school. Um, I averaged a double-double. Shoot, I can't even – it's probably maybe two games, two or three games I uh, didn't have a double-double, it seemed like, for at least um, – I most of the time I'd have more rebounds than I'd have points. So um, I, I pride myself on finding the biggest guy I can around me and boxing them out. That's my thing. Um, I'm not necessarily the, like – uh, most adept at scoring, but um, I'll try my hardest to get that rebound. And I, I just thought it was funny because that was the saying that Kawhi used to say at practice when he uh, um, played at San Diego State. So, right. And that kind of yeah. stuck with me. So, yeah, man. And, you know, Kawhi Leonard, you know, you said you don't model your play after anybody, but you want to talk about a guy that, you know, really took that board man gets paid quote and has just lived by that throughout his whole NBA career, even when he has progressed and became the scorer that he is, you know. Don't ever limit yourself, man, you know, and I know that you're not, but always understand that, you know, you can always better yourself and you can always get, you know, you can become that scorer if that's something that you wanted to do. You just got to apply yourself and understand that you have that potential. Someone saw it in you. You got a scholarship to play here. You're on the team. That's, that's what it comes down to. And so someone saw something in you. And even if you don't think you have it yet, I'm telling you, you keep working hard. You're going to get to that point. Um, I'll go ahead and ask you this right here. Um, so have you had any guys on the team reach out to you and, try to shadow you for, or shadow you, try to mentor you for say? Um, yeah, I'd probably say so. Um, I mean, some of the guys like Christian Koneman and uh, Chris Parks, they've had experience and um, they've uh, definitely been real uh, friendly with me and especially from the get-go um, since I registered last year and it was uh, pretty interesting to like watch them play, um, see how they reacted to the competition and like how they participated in practice um like just to see their drive so it's something that I uh look forward to doing in practice this year yeah man so you know you, you build yourself up by the guys around you as well you need people to also you know be there for you coming into a new new era for you more so than anything you know they're there to help you they're there to get you through it obviously um I wanted to ask you this so you're a freshman today four years from now where do you see yourself as a basketball player Tucker Gilbert I see myself uh, winning the Peach Belt Conference Championship. And I hopefully will do that before that, too. So hopefully it's uh, twice by the time I leave here. But um, I fully expect on winning a championship. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have a great chance this year. Not or going forward as well, of course. You know, this isn't going to be your only year. You're very lucky, unlike a guy like Chris, who I believe is a senior. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to have to you're going to have to wait and end up, uh, end up really seeing what you can actually do here. And I think that's, that's something that you should look forward to.
All right, guys, that wraps up another episode of Freshman Friday. I was your host, Blake Sorrell. We appreciate Tucker for coming on and talking some sports with us, and we'll see you for another episode next week.